Welcome to Uncle's Channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's do an unboxing of the 2023 reissue of Ray Filet. Now, this is a particular figure I never had growing up, but I always wanted this action figure. I always thought he's like one of the coolest looking of all the mutants out there. But I also had like a misconception here as well. Because like growing up, I thought I saw him like in the cartoon and like I seem to have memories of that. But uh, evidently he was only done in the Archie comics. And in the cartoon, we only had somebody named Ray, which is like a, uh, I don't know, I'm going to call him a ripoff or a poor man's version here of Ray Filet because uh, this is Ray. He's actually a mutant uh, manta ray, octopus, electric eel, blowfish, and scorpion fish all uh, squished together. And this is what we got in the cartoon. This is not at all what the action figure of Ray Filet is. And it all boils down to the uh, writers or the creators of Archie Comics TMNT did not want to use Ray Filet inside of the cartoon. And so therefore the cartoon just simply created someone called Ray which is very similar to Ray Filet, but not exactly the same. So the toy here of Ray Filet is based upon the Archie comics and nothing to do with the cartoon whatsoever. And um, that really just surprised me because I had memories of Ray Filet in the cartoon. Now, I did get a few TMNT figures from my wife for Christmas, including Ray Filet. If you want to see an unboxing of those other figures, uh, I put one up last week and one is coming up on Wednesday. So you can check those out as well. But let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of Ray Filet. All right, so let's take a look at the overall packaging of Ray Filet here. Just like all the other reissues, the artwork's gonna be exactly the same as the original. You have Ray Filet up here throwing a starfish, I'm sorry, Scarfish over here at Bebop. They had a little pun there for the enemy. Ray Filet has a little Ray Gill gun and a good portrait of Ray Filet himself down here, which of course shows him looking almost identical to the action figure, all the way down to the uh, enormous amount of teeth that are shown in his smile. They definitely kept that on the actual figure here. They got all the main accessories, which we'll go over in a little bit. On the back, of course, like all the other reissues, they give a uh, story of the TMNT as far as like their origin, which other figures that you can get in this particular wave, uh, heroes and enemies, and then a little bio down here below, where of course it talks about uh, Ray Filet in general. It says, Portrait of Ray Filet, the Fist Fighting Fish, Vital Fish Statistics, a nice little pun there. Accessory, the uh, Ray Gill Gun, Fish Sticks, as well as Scarfish. And a nice little bio for a Ray Filet himself. Let's go into get into the actual unboxing of the figure. All right, so we did get Ray out, a very minor injury along the way, because that's why you should not use a exacto uh, knife when opening the figures, or just simply be uh, more careful than I was. But regardless, let's take a look at the actual Ray Filet figure here. Of course, all the paintwork on this particular one is pretty much top notch. I know some of the reissues have had some uh, complaints as far as the paint job goes, but the paint job for Ray Filet is pretty top notch here, all the way down to the little uh, two-toned back part for, it's like his cape, but it's of course the actual part of the manta ray. But overall, an excellent paint job for Ray Filet here. Of course, he does have uh, articulation here. The uh, shoulder will move up and down. Man, once again, these are really, really tight. I know it moves. Let's try it one more time here. Give him the move. And man, that is some tight articulation. There we go. We broke it loose. That arm does end up moving barely. You have to really break these figures loose in order to get them to move. This arm moves a little bit easier. Same thing for the uh, arm down here as well. Um, articulation's a little stiff, but it is definitely there. As far as the legs go, a little bit easier on the articulation. The paint job on the feet, of course, has little flippers here. Has a little uh, belt of an actual manta ray on it. It looks like a V. I've always wondered, like, does the V mean, mean anything or is it just simply a, uh, a nice little upside down triangle for a uh, ray fillet to have? Let's take a look at the uh, weapons themselves. This is the uh, Ray Gill gun. Of course, it looks like a uh, manta ray on it. Not really sure what the uh, decorations down here mean exactly. Let's see here, fits pretty much perfectly into his hand. Excellent little weapon that he has there. And then we have fish sticks here, which um, I just assume is a uh, mutated fish. Looks like he got some uh, dynamite maybe on his back. I'm not really sure what's going on exactly with fish sticks. Yeah, definitely dynamite because he's got like a little uh, detonator inside of his hands. Uh, it's not going to go too well if he has all the dynamite strapped to his back there. But regardless, that is uh, Fish Sticks, a little mutant assistant that uh, Ray Filet has. 
as well as Scarfish here. And you can see a nice little angry look on the uh, little Starfish's face, a mutated Starfish. And he fits, I'm sure, directly into Ray Filet's hand if he wants to throw him. Overall, excellent paint job for Ray Filet. I love the uh, design as far as like all the uh, sharp teeth that he has coming out here. The little, um, you know, I guess they're not antennas, but you know, little ears on Ray Filet, as well as the eye animation. I mean, just a great looking comedic figure that um, to me really does symbolize the Archie comic. I never really thought about it when I was a kid because I thought he was inside the cartoon, but there is something about the animation style of the figure here that definitely looks like it is from the uh, Archie comics. Overall, excellent paint job, excellent articulation, and I feel like they did a great job of bringing the reissue to life in many different ways. Overall, I feel like the reissue of Ray Filet definitely lives up to the original, even though I didn't have the original. I feel like the paint job, the details, they're all top notch. The articulations, they are a little bit stiff, but uh, not so much that you can't break the uh, break them loose a little bit to give them to pose exactly like you want to. I feel like all the accessories are definitely uh, of the same quality as the original. They're not too flexible. They're not too stiff. I feel like they pretty much matched it right on. I know some of the reissues have had a little bit of trouble throughout, but I definitely feel like this is one of the better reissues of the uh, TMNT line. But I'm happy to finally add Ray Filet to the collection, even though he's not the original. I just love having the actual figure uh, displayed on my shelf back here. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos listed up above and go out there, find a great game to play. Simply have a great rest of the day.